Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Allison. So for today's video, we're going to talk about this Neutrogena Flawless Matte CC Cream. And this CC Cream, it's going to give you a full coverage, matte finish, color correcting, and also it's good for any prone skin and oily skin. So if you guys are same skin tone as I do, then you guys may want to stick around to see how this would work during the day and if it really truly good for any prone skin before i start the review if you guys haven't subscribed down below on my channel make sure to click the subscribe button and also that ring button so you get a notification whenever i upload a new video on my channel also i do a lot of fashion beauty lifestyle foundation review and hauls video so if you guys are interested in that then don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and let's get into the review okay so before we dive into the foundation review let's get into the packaging so you guys will see it's a very simple squeezy tube and usually with CC cream it comes with a squeezy tube or a little small pump on the bottom part to squeeze the product out but with this it's just a very simple basic I would say it's kind of like a typical drugstore foundation what it looks like so it's a very simple that is made with plastic and it's easy to travel with and it's not too heavy okay so let's dive into the details of this foundation what it claims to be I know I look a little rough right now with concealer going on but I'm gonna explain what the, I put on my face I'm just gonna let it settle down a little while I'm talking about this foundation so first off this is a Neutrogena Flawless Matte CC Cream clear coverage it has a niacinamide B3 if you guys have been watching my channel you guys know I talk about niacinamide that I included in my morning routine so you guys can check it out on the link up here but this foundation I do appreciate that it comes with a niacinamide so I can skip a step in my morning routine so what interesting about this CC cream is I purchased it at Target and the name of this CC cream is called Flawless Matte CC Cream but I'm looking at the website on the Neutrogena website. It says this is a matte CC cream developed with dermatologist clear coverage but it doesn't have the Flawless Matte CC cream. But I believe they are the same product just because I did look into the description, they are the same. So this CC cream, I actually purchased it at Target and I do recommend purchasing all the drugstore foundation at Target if you find your shade just because I feel like they are the most affordable price that I can find in the drugstore. So I did purchase this for $12.99 and on the website it's showing it's $14.99. So you're gonna save two bucks in your pocket if you purchase it at Target. But again, if you find your shade match, then it will worth a lot. So CC cream, typically it doesn't come with much shade range compared to foundation, but I'm pretty amazed with this CC cream. It comes with 34 shade range on the website and I believe at Target you wouldn't find that much of the shade range. It just have a little slot for this foundation so it really depends on which target you go to. Neutrogena is stepping up the game just because not much company out there even though big company they don't do a lot of shade range for a CC cream. All right, so let's get into details of this CC cream. So it claims to be a new Neutrogena clear coverage flawless matte CC cream was developed with dermatologists specifically for acne prone skin. So this CC cream is infused with niacinamide. I talked about it earlier. It's a vitamin B3. It has a clear formula, which is free from oil, fragrance, parabens, SLS slash SLES, sulfates and phthalates. Full coverage, matte finish, oil-free, non-comedogenic, and hypoallergenic, which means it won't clog your pores or make it any worse. So I know nowadays there's a lot of wording for claiming a foundation, but this type of foundation is says it claims to good for any pro skin. So I'm really, really intrigued to see how this works just because you guys know I am oily skin. I do have a very serious acne prone skin as well and also I feel like nowadays a lot of foundation or CC cream it just comes out this during the summertime I'm not sure why so as an oily skin girl I did try quite a lot of tinted moisturizer and CC cream these days but I feel like your oily girls still need some matte finish just because we do produce oil like a lot of oil during the summertime so if you guys have the same skin type as I do then let's keep on watching all right guys so let's get in close to personal you guys will see all my flaws on my face 
But we are going to try this CC cream and see how it works for my oily skin and any prone skin. So you guys already see I have my concealer on throughout the beginning of this video. So I'm going to let you guys know what I use on my base and my concealer. So first off, I did use my Becca Under Eye Brightener. This is my holy grail. I talk about it on my every foundation review. This is something that I use every single time when I put on my concealer. So before I put it on my concealer, this this is like a salmon tone corrector that it cancels out my dark circle and then I would go in and use my favorite favorite concealer this is Pemigrath Labs concealer I'm in the shade L5 and the reason I like to apply it first before my foundation just because I want extra coverage and I do need that because I didn't get enough sleep these days so I need extra coverage let it sit and marinate into my skin just give me that extra coverage and also for my primer primer it's so important girls you guys cannot skip primer just because you would be amazed how it holds up your makeup look so today I'll be using this Armani primer day long skin perfector trouble zone you guys don't have to use this primer and I'm using it just basically because I want to finish it up because I have it for quite a long time so this is what the primer looks like it looks like a cream formula like a moisturizer but at the same time it kind of give you a little moisture but when it dries down it would dry into the matte finish all right so now let's get into the foundation review and i'm gonna give you guys a quick look on the texture of this cc cream so you guys will see it's not super liquidy as a lot of tinge of moisturizer i have tried this day but it looks pretty Kind of solid so i'm gonna use one side of my face with a sponge to see how it cover if it doesn't go well then we're gonna go with fingers which is my least favorite way you guys know i'll do it for you guys and see if it gives give us a little bit more of a coverage Ooh, as a cc cream this gave me quite a lot of coverage even though I'm using a sponge so I'm pretty amazed it just kind of give you that foundation coverage I'm shook I'm shook you guys it cover up my redness all right guys so this is one side of the face with the CC cream on and I'm honestly show sure it kind of looks like a foundation to me but less a little less coverage but as a CC cream that's definitely a lot of coverage and it just feels like a foundation so this side of my face some redness you guys will see it pretty much cover up and compared to this side of my face you guys will see I do have a lot of redness going on so I'm just gonna finish up this side of my face again with a sponge because I like my sponge application I mean are you sure this is CC cream it's just giving me that foundation coverage and I'm sure you guys can see my redness is all gone and I only use like a one squeeze for both side of my face and you guys can see the coverage it's on point and I'm pretty sure because I didn't expect that just because I already tried a lot of Tinted Moisturizer CC Cream these days and they do not give me much coverage but this is what I like this is something that I like because I do have a lot of flawless on the face redness on the face and I do love the coverage at the same time more of a lightweight texture on the face so I don't feel heavy during the summertime with a foundation layer on top of the skin but this I'm pretty shook this gives me a really nice coverage and by the way the shade that I'm using today is 2.0 Procillin and this is usually my typical shade with a lot of foundation Procillin is my shade and it matches with my neck color it didn't oxidize much I mean on the two it might look a little darker but in real person I feel like it didn't oxidize at all it just looks really nice on the screen and it gives me a really nice coverage you guys can see it looks flawless it looks like my skin but better but obviously you guys can tell there is 
like foundation on my skin and in fact it comes with niacinamide which i use on a daily basis in the morning i need some time to digest just because the coverage i did not expect it gives me this much coverage all right so right now i'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and i'm gonna give you guys my first impression and see how it settled down on my face when i'm doing my makeup and i'll talk to you later guys soon Alright guys, so I am now done with the makeup look. I'm trying to go for this very natural look today. So if you guys are interested in what I use on my face today, I'm going to leave it in the description bar below. Or oh, one more thing, just in case you guys are wondering. I got this on Etsy. It has my name, Ali, on top. So if you guys are into this 90s phone strip, I'll leave it in the description bar below. So now I'm gonna quickly talk about my first impression after I put on my makeup on top. So I would say this foundation on my skin, it doesn't oxidize. I feel like it matched my skin tone perfectly. And if you guys can see some crocodile skin on my chin area, just because I do apply a lot of acne solution on my chin area at the night time so that is why my skin is kind of peeling if I apply a layer of foundation on top so this happens on my every single foundation review you guys already know that and for the foundation I feel like once it's set it doesn't have the tackiness on the face because I did use a loose setting powder to set my face just because I have an oily skin. I feel like if you're trying to layer more makeup on top of this CC cream, you might have to be light-handed because it does look a little cakey. I feel like once it dries down, it has a little cakiness on my face, but I'm gonna use the setting mist later on after I film this part of the video and see if it gets better. But I feel like it looks a little cakiness on my bronzer area. But around my nose, I feel like it just kind of close up my pores. I'm not sure is that because the niacinamide is working. Usually with product with niacinamide, it tends to dry up a little and kind of close up your pores. So this is the only thing that I notice as far as my first impression. But other than that, everything looks good. I really love the coverage of this. It just feels like I'm using a foundation. I can really tell the difference of using this as a CC cream or I'm using a foundation. And also it looks pretty natural finish. It matches my skin tone perfectly. I'm not sure about the matte formula. Would it control my oil come through or would it stay put on my face during the day? So that is why I'm here today to test it out for you guys to see how it stay all my oily skin throughout the day and it is 86 degree out there today so actually 88 degree i just checked 88 degree out there so it's pretty hot out there but i think i'm just gonna stay at home because i have a lot of housework that i have to do so far looking in the camera this foundation it looks really nice the coverage and it's stay put it doesn't have the heavy feeling on the face but with that being said i will check back in with you guys later and see how this works on my oily skin okay guys, so i am back for the final check-in and now i've been wearing this foundation for about seven hours now and i'm gonna give you guys my review and thoughts on this foundation so this actually the cc cream a gives me a very nice coverage and it looks like kind of like a foundation coverage to me and I was really surprised the CC cream gives me that kind of coverage but throughout the day it looks really nice and it kind of just blur out my pores on the center part of my face so I've been wearing this foundation throughout the day in my house but it was pretty hot outside it was around 88 degree outside today so my house is kind of steaming hot but I did not sweat so I just want to let you guys know the situation, the weather that we have been testing this out, putting this into a test. And I went out for dinner around 7-ish and it was pretty cool out there. I was pretty surprised because it was really steaming hot out there and then at night time it just turns really cold. But this is how it works throughout the 7 hours mark. I would say the coverage it looks good and um, it slowly gets me a little bit oily just because I do have oily skin and it was pretty hot today. So I did get a little oily and I have to say I was wearing a mask during dinner time. So it does take out some of the coverage on the tip of my nose and the chin area. You guys can ignore this just because I did put on a lot of acne lotion on this area typically. So it 
didn't stay well with a lot of the foundation review I did in the past. So now I'm just gonna split it in the pros and cons. So for the pros, it gives me a really good coverage, better than I expect. And also the fact that it's matte finish as a CC cream, it claims to be CC cream and then it's good for oily skin. And lastly, it is very affordable and I love the packaging. It's very simple, easy to travel with. And even though when you are blending with a sponge like this, it still gives you coverage. Okay, now moving on to the cons. So I would say this foundation is not as lightweight as I thought it would be because you can definitely feel there's a layer of foundation on top of the face. A slight layer because I didn't expect that as a CC cream. And second of all is if you're wearing a face mask, you definitely have to be aware because it does take off the foundation or CC cream easily. So the tip of my nose and the chin area, it does take off a little when I'm wearing a face mask. So you guys might have to bring something for a touch up. And third is, even though I set it with a loosen powder, I do get a little more shiny on my T-zone area and on my chin area. So it's not something that it gives you a fully matte finish. You don't have to touch up. I mean, throughout the day, you're still gonna get a little more oily, even though you set it with loosening powder because you have oily skin. I feel like this foundation, I would like it to be more of a matte finish just because I was staying indoor to be fair, I wasn't doing much and I still get a little bit more oily. So now comes the rating of this CC cream. I would say I will give this eight out of 10 just because yeah. I'm really amazed of the coverage of it. It gives me like a foundation coverage and the color it gives me, it looks really good matching color. So I'm using 2.0 Priscillin and this matched me perfectly. It does not oxidize and also the only downside again is Looking a little more Not as natural finish and you guys can tell definitely on the chin area. There's a layer of foundation It doesn't sink into the skin it looks more natural finish as a CC cream So that is why I'm taking two points out and also, if you guys have been watching my foundation review, you guys know I'm a pretty hard grader for foundation because I don't have a good skin to start with. So concealer and foundation is something that I'm really, really picky about just because, again, I need something, I need coverage, and I need something that is also very natural looking, but at the same time, it gives me coverage and also it stays good for my oily skin. So if you guys are really into concealer and foundation, make sure to subscribe on my channel because I do a lot of review on those. So if you guys end up purchasing this or if you guys end up liking it or not, let me know in the comments down below because we want to see how it works for you because something that it might work for me, it might not work for you and vice versa. So I want to see how it works for your skin tone and what kind of skin type do you guys have. So share it in the comments down below and share with our community here. So with that being said, that is all for my review today. I hope you guys enjoy watching this and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.